Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Now, hey, we're gonna talk about how I use a stock and then when I have covered call profits, we buy a monthly dividend paying stock. I'm going to show you that stock that I bought. In fact, I went ahead and closed a covered call. Then I took those profits. We moved them over and we bought this dividend paying stock. It's an ETF from YieldMax. So I know there's a lot of people out there with different opinions of the YieldMax ETFs. For me, I understand the risk and we invest understanding the risk. There is risk because we're talking about a stock I'm using. We're using yin, which yin is the 3X leveraged ETF to the China large cap stocks. Oh, and hey, before we get going, I haven't done this in a while. If you like anything you hear, I want you to subscribe to the channel. It's right there. It's free. I come back every week trying to up your game using covered calls and then buying monthly dividend paying stock so we can truly have passive income. So hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Now what I'm doing is this, we are using yin for some great covered calls and we're also using yin two ways. One, we buy the shares and we write the covered call. We're also using yin for a poor man's covered call. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. The poor man's covered call where we buy a leaps call option in lieu of buying the shares. And then we write near-term covered calls as if we own the shares. I'm gonna explain this rather briefly, bring you up to speed, share with you how we do a poor man's covered call straight talk style. Do understand we are using yen. This is not a recommendation for you to be uh, going out and buying yen. You have to understand the risk because yin has been absolutely dragging with all the other large cap China stocks. And when I say large cap China stocks, we're talking Alibaba, we're talking JD.com. And this is the ETF that mimics the big ETF 3X leveraged. So we're using leverage here with using yin. And quite frankly, we got involved with yin when that sucker was trading at about 21X. It's down, in fact, it's trading at 17. But what I'm gonna show you today is how I've been dollar costing down and we find ourselves writing a covered call but not needing for it to go back to 21. And along the way, I've taken those covered call profits and bought dividend paying shares. So let's go ahead and absolutely get to this. For many of you, you've never heard of yen. And I didn't either until I recently got involved with Alibaba again. And I started researching the volatility, any 3X leveraged ETFs out there that might be using the China stocks. And if I'm gonna use the China stocks, I'm gonna use the large cap stocks. So what I did and what I'm showing you here is my total income tracker for this yen trade. Now in the description below is the brand new 2024 tracker that you'll want to get your hands on. It includes all of these individual trackers and calculators to help us determine when we're profitable. And we're gonna be using one right here at the top. Where will my leaps call option be priced if I place this covered call? The covered call that I'm gonna write that maybe closes this trade profitable. So in the description below and the very first comment, get your 2024 updated copy. And in that copy, it has all the videos to show you how to use it. When Yin was trading, I went ahead and bought the $15 leaps call option to support the near-term cover calls I'm gonna be writing. I went out and bought the right, but not the obligation to take somebody's shares away from them at 15. And now with that paper in hand, I'm able to buy somebody's shares 415, I have until April 2024 to make that decision to buy their shares at 15. I can go out now and write near-term covered calls. And that's what I did. I paid $6.40 for that write. And now I'm gonna use it to write near-term covered calls. And we bought 10 of them. And now I have leverage of 1,000 shares. So what I did is I wrote my very first covered call and uh, quite frankly, you could see it right here. We went ahead and did it when the stock was trading at 1910. We picked the 2050 strike because remember, the stock was trading at $20.04. So all I have to do 
is have my shares taken away at 2004 or above. My Leap's call option is going to be worth exactly what I paid. And of course, we pick up those fat premiums and the cash on cash percentage gain is going to be based on $6,400 and we're going to be knocking it down time and time again. Well, Yin plays nice for the first couple trades and you can see that right here. With me being in at 2004, anything near 2004, I'm okay because I can write these 21 strikes or 2050 or $20 strikes and I'm still gonna make money. Well, this is where Yin decides not to play nice and recently has fallen. In fact, is now trading for 17 bucks. Went ahead and we're gonna double down. In fact, I tripled down. What I've decided to do is we're going to dollar cost average our leaps call options down and we're going to then use those leaps call options to make more covered call premiums and we're going to run the calculator to see where I need to pick my strike price. That's why the calculator's so important. That's exactly what I did here. So with 30 leaps call options or controlling 3,000 shares, I then dialed up what a covered call would pay and where I can get out. So as you can notice, with the Leap's call option trading at four bucks now, notice here, I dollar cost average down. I bought 10 at 470, I bought another 10 at four. We have dollar cost average to where my new Leap's call option price, cost basis is $5.03. So okay, with that knowledge in hand, we're now gonna find a strike price for which we can use to write a covered call. That's exactly what I did with the leaps call option trading at $4. The stock trading is $17 and one penny. We picked a 19 strike and you can see with the 82 Delta, which these are, the stock move from $17 and one penny to 19 will be $1 and 99 cents. Well, my leaps call options from the $4 will move $1.63. So in theory, my new leaps call option price at the $19 price of the stock will be trading at about $5.63. So with that in hand, we went ahead and wrote this near-term covered call. It has an expiration in literally 17 days. We picked the 1850 strike. I didn't pick the 19 strike because the 1850 strike paid a little bit more in premium and I'll still be able to get out of this trade with a whopping 31% in literally 30 days plus a week. So what we're gonna get hypothetically at the end of this trade is this. The stock's gonna trade higher. Let's say it goes to 1850 and my shares are gonna be taken away. Well, at 1850, my Leaps call option is gonna have a value of about $5.22. So that makes that Leaps call option profitable because my cost basis is 503. And with all the near-term cover calls I've written, this is what it looks like on the top side. I'm going to make some $4,100 on all the cover calls I've written. I'm only going to make a mere $560 on my leaps call options because I have dollar costed down. And of course, the total cash out will be right around $4,700 or 31% cash on cash in about 40 days. So that's how we're generating all that near-term covered call profit in about 40 days, man. That's 4,100 whopping dollars for the risk. Remember I talked about the risk at the beginning of this trade? Well, I know the risk and I'm using the risk. And the risk uh, equals more reward. So we're generating some $4,700 in a mere 40 days. Now what I'm gonna do, because I wanna retire on dividends, monthly dividends, I went ahead and bought this yield max ETF that pays a monthly dividend. And in this case, we're going with the PayPal ETF, which is PYPY. This is a yield max ETF for which their recent payouts have been 62 cents, 51 cents, and 56 cents. What the yield max ETFs do is they essentially use a stock. They take a long position with a call and they buy a short position, which simulates stock ownership, and then they write near-term covered calls for income. And they also have some treasury notes in there to create a hedge. The yield max ETS will use stocks in lieu of owning the shares. They'll use stocks, and what they do is they write and sell call options and put options against them to generate that fat near-term monthly dividend yield. And I have Tesla's version and Coinbase's version. I also have a couple others, but I've decided to put all this money 
Now into the PayPal version. We use the 3X Leverage ETF in yen. There's risk behind it, but we're using an index, the large cap stock index of all the China stocks that are the biggest. We use the Leap's call option so we can have a little more cash on cash return. Then we take the cash that we earned and we're dropping it into yield max ETFs that pay higher returns than most. And again, we understand the risk and we understand how the yield max ETFs generate their fat, juicy monthly dividends. Now, I'm not a fool, right? I'm not a fool. I've been doing this for years. I understand the bigger the dividend, most people think the more risk. That's not true. That might be true with a company. That's not necessarily true with closed end funds and ETFs that pay monthly dividend. It's all about how they generate their dividend. See, they could pay $10 a month per share, but if the way they generate the dividend is sound and it's that profitable, just looking at a $10 dividend doesn't mean it's scary or risky. The yield max ETFs use a particular stock to generate the dividend. And in this case, we picked PayPal. So what we did is we went out and bought shares of this PayPal yield max ETF, and we've been picking up along the way, buying the shares. So they're gonna pay every single month, and that's a dividend tree. That is taking covered call profits moving them into an ETF or a closed end fund that generates monthly dividend income, passive income, and we're creating our dividend tree, right? That dividend tree that monthly bears the fruit. What I'm gonna tell you is this, using the cover call strategy, you can beat the stock market's performance hand over fist. That's a beautiful thing in itself. Then taking the cover call premiums and moving them into dividend paying stocks, like I just mentioned, then they produce a monthly dividend for which is passive income. We take a semi-passive investment idea in buying a stock, writing a covered call, then creating a passive income idea where we buy a stock. We never have to look at it again for the most part and it generates cash flow month over month. See, if you do this like me, get your knowledge, get your experience, and then put it into play. This is the way I do it. This is the way I fund my retirement. Hey, look, in the description below is your brand new Poor Man's Cover Call Tracker. I, you really need it because if you're gonna use the Poor Man's Cover Call in any way, you absolutely need all the trackers, you need all the calculators, and I've created it and made it available for you. And here's the deal. If you get it, you're also going to get a one free month membership offer. And I want you to get your one free month. Hey, look, I'm going to leave it there. Did you like that video? Subscribe to the channel. Join me every single week. And hey, do me a favor, man. Bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Be safe. Be healthy. Most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.